Hey guys, this is Alan from the JCR Off-Road Garage. I want to show you how to install our new Wrangler Rear Corner Armor and Matching Fenders. Let's say you've taken a little bit of damage or you want to avoid taking some damage or ripping off your rear fenders, this is a great option to go with. It gives you a nice clean look on the back end and plenty of protection. One bit of warning though, this is a commitment, kind of like marriage. We're going to be doing a lot of drilling, modifying and cutting of your tub to get these installed. So just keep that in mind. Let's see how these go on. Using a box end wrench or a socket, remove the machine screws and plastic retainers holding the fenders to the body. Remove the fender. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, remove the outer plastic of your taillight so you can get to the mounting bolts beneath. Using a 10 millimeter socket, remove the three bolts holding the taillight to the body, unplug and remove. Do this on both sides. Using a deep well socket or a socket with extension, remove the license plate holder. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, remove the four machine screws holding the gas inlet to the gas cover, and again to remove the cover from the body. If you're running a soft top, now's the best time to remove any of the parts that are still attached to the top of the body. It's good to wipe down the body now, just to make sure there's no debris to cause any scratching. Pull back the interior carpeting around the wheel wells in the rear. Place the upper quarter panel armor around the body and use a few clamps to hold in place. This is best done if it is uncoated. If you've already coated it, that's fine. Just make sure you use some plastic coated clamps or some rags to hold the clamps in place so you don't damage your finish. We recommend two clamps on the side and one on the rear. You can use a few on the lower portion if you'd like, but we found it not to be necessary. You want to make sure and double check your position of the armor. You want to make sure you keep an even gap all the way around the door and around the top of the body. About a quarter inch is about what should be expected. Using a 5 16 drill bit, drill out the mounting holes for the armor. If you are also installing fenders, then also do the five holes around the wheel well. If not, then these can be ignored at this time. You can fill in those holes if you'd like before you finish mounting the armor. The front lower hole for mounting the armor and the lower hole for mounting the fenders will both have to be done using a 5 16 nut zert. The lower hole on the rear near the tailgate will also have to use a nut cert. To do this, you're going to use a 17 30 seconds drill bit to make the hole large enough for the provided nut cert. On the three larger holes that you drilled, you'll use the nut cert tool with a little RTV or paint to fill the new holes and set our nut cert tool into it. Using a box end wrench and a half inch drive socket, you will set the nut zert. You want to go to 40 foot pounds on the nut zert. Repeat this process on either two or three of the holes as needed. Now using the 5 16 included hardware, place the holes through the ones you just drilled and place the flange nuts on the other side and tighten down loosely. Once all mounting hardware has been installed, tighten down with the Allen wrench and a half inch box wrench. If you're going to be using flush lights, we recommend drilling out the holes large enough to use the box lights that you would like. Or if you're going to be using another type of light, follow the manufacturer's instructions. Reusing the machine screws, place it back on and reattach the machine screws to the inlet. Now install the fenders with the provided hardware through the holes both through the armor and through the body. Tighten down with a box end wrench. 
Well, that was a lot of work, but I think it was well worth it. These look great, especially with our front fenders and Crusader sliders. Now, yours might look a little bit different when you get them, depending on the options that you chose. LJ, stretch, with or without fenders, but all of them are gonna install the same way, plus or minus a few of the steps you just saw. Now, if you have any questions about this installation, feel free to give me a call or shoot me an email and I'll help you out in any way I can. Now, after installing these though, I think this was more of a commitment than marriage. Till next time, keep it wheels down.